Life Audio. Thank you for listening to your daily prayer, a podcast dedicated to helping you find the words you need to connect with your Father in Heaven. No matter what is going on in your life today, you can trust that God wants to hear from you. Right after this short word from our sponsor, we will pray through today's prayer together. This episode is brought to you by He Gets Us, a nationwide campaign all about raising the respect and relevance of Jesus. Did you see the Super Bowl ads about Jesus? Are you wondering how you can get involved? He Gets Us is a multi-year effort to raise the respect and relevance of Jesus in the United States. Thanks to this unprecedented campaign, millions of Americans are discovering the life-changing impact of Jesus. And we want you to be a part of the movement. Join more than 45,000 He Gets Us fans getting the latest updates, inspiration, prayer ideas, and easy-to-share resources via text message by subscribing to our fans' community. To do so, text FANS to 70193. By being a fan, you can get exclusive updates on new ads, events, and other exciting news related to the He Gets Us movement. We'll also keep you inspired by giving you access to reading plans, prayer guides, and other tools to help on your spiritual journey. Join this community of like-minded individuals who share your passion for spreading the love of Jesus. Simply text FANS to 70193 to join today. Today's Fort Lauderdale forecast, beautiful, especially for your business. Here, growth opportunities in tech, life sciences, aviation, financial services, and corporate headquarters are as great as the weather. Plus, you'll be relocating to one of the top business climates in the country with a population of over 6 million people, along with fast and easy access to 10 airports offering over 2,000 daily flights, putting four continents within reach in a single day. Oh, and let's not forget zero state income tax. In short, there's no place under the sun better for you and your business. And speaking of the sun, you'll be enjoying more of it with our 23 miles of smooth white sand beaches and an average daily temperature of 76 degrees. To get more information on why you should make your move, contact the Greater Fort Lauderdale Alliance at lesstaxing.com. Because life in Greater Fort Lauderdale truly is life less taxing. A Prayer for When the World Tries to Tell You Who to Be by Molly Law Read by Rochelle Alberti For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, 13-14 According to a new special report by 60 Minutes, social media platforms such as Instagram and TikTok are steering young users some as young as 11, to accounts that promote anorexia and self-harm. While this is very upsetting and unconscionable, studies have also shown that the use of these social media platforms lead to lower self-esteem and depression. While social media and this technology are new, the pressures that come with the beauty standards of the world are not. The world tries to tell women that they should look like a Margot Robbie, Kiera Knightley, or Zendaya. The world tries to tell men that they should look like a Chris Hemsworth, Dwayne Johnson, or any of the other famous Chrises. As these archetypes of conventional beauty are lifted up in society, it can be difficult to see and believe there is beauty to be found in everyone. The world will tell you that physical beauty is all that matters. The enemy certainly wants you to believe it until you feel depressed, worthless, and hopeless. The world is very tricky, yet also very transparent. The standards of beauty are fickle and change almost every decade. In the 1940s, the standard of beauty for women was tall, slim brunettes. A fit man in the early 20th century was lean, with toned arms and legs. The mechanics of developing pecs and abs had not been invented, so they were not the standard for beauty. Yet we see in the 1950s, the standard of beauty for women shifted, the curvy, short blondes, as reflected in Marilyn Monroe. 
Even though the pressures of looking a certain way change with the seasons, that does not mean their effect on our psyche is any less damaging or intense. We see that in the number of depression cases, bullying, and even deaths by suicide in teenagers today. Whereas the world is a liar and flighty, we know that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. He is always constant. He is always loving and always faithful. We know that our Lord looks at the heart as the standard of beauty. Scripture tells us that the Lord chose a small, young David out of his physically strong and older brothers to be the king of Israel. God also reveals to David in the Psalms how he creates each and every one of us. He tells him that we are carefully created. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. The fact that our souls are the ones that will exist after death and our physical bodies will die and turn to dust shows how much our character, our personality, and a soul that chooses the Lord for salvation matters above our physical appearance. Let's pray. Dear Lord, I know that the world speaks loudly and convincingly that the only thing that matters is the way we look, and any other message is patronizing and a lie. But I pray that your message about our inner beauty and intricate creation will overcome the lies of the world. I pray that everyone knows how beautiful they are inside and out, that the mechanics of human attractiveness is far different than the narrow and shallow narrative of popular culture. Lord, be with young teenagers and adults who are inundated with images deemed as beautiful and acceptable in today's society. I pray that they know your truth and hope for a better tomorrow that is not dictated by social media. I pray for their parents that they have the right tools to navigate their children's anxieties perceptions, and mental health. I pray that we all know who we are created by and how we were created. We pray for your guidance and overwhelming presence as the world tries to yell, lie, and manipulate us into looking a certain way to be happy and successful. Help us drown out the voices that come to steal, kill, and destroy. John 10.10 We love and trust you with all of our hearts, our Lord, our God. In Jesus' name, Amen. Your Daily Prayer is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Hey there, it's Nicole Yunus, host of the How to Study the Bible podcast, where every single week we join together to encounter God through His Word. You can subscribe at lifeaudio.com.